Carrie from Turner's Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a pen blank. I'm not going to focus so much on what pen I'm turning, I just want to show you the setup with the mandrel, the bushings, and the lathe. Today we're going to be turning on the new Record Power Herald. We just got these in, we're pretty excited about them. It is a Morris Taper 2, so we've got our Morris Taper 2 mandrel in here. We're going to slide our bushings on here, these are slimline bushings. And today we're going to turn a uh, dyed stabilized piece of wood. This is going to be a pretty one. I'm going to be using the Easy Wood Tools, the mini set. We've got the round and the square. I'll slide this up here. This is our mandrel saver. It's a life saver right there. And let's get started. So the importance of our bushings here, they not only provide the space that we need to work, but they are our guide to where we want to turn this material down to. You want to make sure you have your tool rest set up appropriately. It needs to be at center line or just high enough or just higher. Today I'm going to turn at about 3,500. The really cool part about this Herald is that it can be adjusted before you turn it on. We're going to do about there. And it goes up to 4,000, but we're only going to turn at 3,500 today. And let's go. I really like how this machine eases into the power. into a nice round shape. You can see it's a couple of millimeters away from the bushings. So I'm gonna switch over to my finisher here and just feather it out at the ends so it's a nice smooth transition. some value in this video today. I just wanted to show the basics for the new pen turners out there like me on how to get your blank turned, set it up on your mandrel so that you kind of have a little bit of a starter to go from. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yep, that's all.